What's going on, everyone? It's Asian Romeo here. You're watching Brutal Arc Mobile, and in today's video, I will be doing a Yeti Cave walkthrough. Yes, you heard me. The strong artifact has been a struggle for most people, especially for the new players. How to pass this cave, what to do, and what to use. First off, you're going to need one of two tames. It's up to you which you like to use. You can use a spider, also known as the Araneos, or you can... Hey, hey, where are you going? Come back here, far out. Can't use just stay still while I do my introduction. Come on guys, I tamed you, you're supposed to be loyal. Let's try this again. As I was saying, you can choose one of two tames to take in. The Araneo, my lovely blue purple spider that I tamed in the hunter cave. Or you can choose to go for the Arthropleurus. They both do not aggro any other predators in the wild. So they are non-aggro and they are both passive tames. And they are both perfect to run the strong cave. And here's how to get them. Before we can start our taming process, we need to craft a few things first guys. First off, you're going to need some bug repellent. And this can be made inside the chemistry bench or the mortar and pestle. And you will also need to unlock the bug repellent ingram. And the recipe will be there for you to use. You'll need to gather some pelt, narcotics, lemon and carrots. When bug repellent is used in conjunction with your ghillie suit, this gnarly paste makes you nearly invisible to bugs, bats and spiders. Just don't attack them or get too close, and the effects last for 10 minutes. Next up, we're going to make taming food for an Arthropura. They only eat broth of enlightenment, which can be made inside the industrial cooker or inside a normal cooking pot. To cook the broth, you need woolly rhino horn, carrots, corn, potato, lemon, black pearl, moji berry, and some water. Throw all the ingredients inside your cooker and turn it on. It'll only take five seconds to cook one broth. Once you've done that, store both your bug repellent and your broth in the fridge because we need to start farming organic polymer to start crafting our ghillie gear. To find organic polymer, you need to explore the island around White Sky Peak in the snow biome where you can find penguins and kill for that organic polymer. Be aware that it does expire, so it's best to use an Argentavis that has a smithy inside where you can craft your ghillie suit straight away. Oh my god, sorry. Sorry, my lovely babies. Oh, I feel so bad to kill you. Oh, there's a baby, I'm sorry. So sorry. Not sorry. After a few sessions of therapy, don't forget to grab some soothing balm. Hot bar all consumables you've crafted, including spoiled meat to tame your spider. Put on your ghillie suit and head towards the hunter cave. Latitude 80 and longitude 52. Don't forget to bring in some weapons and ammo for protection. What the? There's a dilo in here. It's the first time I've actually seen a dilo and look, somebody's already tamed a spider. Tamed by the god. That's a pretty decent level too. Uh, we're going to put on our light skin. If you don't have a light skin, make sure to bring in the torch guys because it will get really dark in here. In early game, the hunter cave is one of the best, well, greatest spots to come and get uh, a spider or an arthropura. What the? How does a parasaur manage to find its way down here? And what's wrong with you? What? Oh, your paw stuck in a rock. <laughs> I'm sorry, Parasaur. I don't know what's, why you even came down here in the first place to get stuck on a rock. When you reach this first junction, guys, where you can go left or right, make sure you, you pop your first bug repellent because this is when the creatures start to spawn. And when you see a creature or a spider or whatever, just walk really slow. And Oh, there's a spider right there. And walk up behind them, not in front of them, and go as close as you can until you see their name. Level 15, a little too low. We want something higher. Oh, he's startled. Okay. We might have to kill him off, and there's more spiders following, so... We want something over 100 if we can. Don't tame too low, because 
their weight is going to be really minuscule and you, they're not going to be able to carry you without some leveling. So the, a little higher on the spider the better but don't get a max one. 135 okay he's he's decent. We're going to run up and we're going to hide. Um, there's the doorway. There's the exit I mean. We're going to come up here and we're just going to wait a few seconds for the bug to get uh, what would you call it settle down so then we can sneak up behind it and kill it go into camera mode and you can look around corners that way guys so you don't have to move from that spot and it doesn't look like it seems to be following me so we'll yeah we'll slowly slowly make our way down the hallway because we don't want to startle it again just make sure guys that you have your rotten meat and your balm um, on the hot bar because they are passive teams. And I've got a couple of stims too just in case I get bit. You don't want to pass out in here. And he's right there. Okay, we'll go up behind him until we see his name and then we'll soothe it and then feed it. And don't move from this spot or whatever spot you're in and that's really all there is to it the first feed usually takes a while um, before you can do the second feed but after that the feeding process does um, speed up a little bit so don't go too far away from your spider he looks pretty cool nice blue one you're mine mine Woo! i'm under the map look at that we can see under the hunter cave now that is glitchy cool it's been about 10 minutes and we're coming up on the last feed now guys bada bing bada boom yeehaw all right so we're gonna put a collar on him first um, that way we don't lose him while we're around this place. We'll put a bandana. Spiders like speed and stamina. Don't worry. Oh, actually, 150 weight. That's really bad. Without the bandana, he's 167. And with, he's over 200 speed. You want a fast, long-running stamina spider for the Yeti cave, guys. So I might have to spend some time and level him up a bit because right now as you can see he's he's not strong enough straight away over encumbered um but we'll figure that out later we are now going to head into deeper into the cave and see if we can't tame ourselves an arthropleura The deeper you go in here guys the more dangerous it's going to be because there's going to be a ton a ton of predators and when there's this many and you're walking fast through like i am and now i'm stuck bug repellent sort of doesn't work once one's been alerted so as long as you have a sword a decent sword you can get them off you and hopefully go away and hopefully you don't die and pass out so bring a couple of stim uh, stimulants what i'm doing is looking for an arthropleura a centipede there are definitely some here but whether or not they're here at the time of your team um, may be a bit tricky so i'm just killing off whatever i don't want so an arthropleura so i'm just going to say an artho because they're hard to say tongue twisting um, yeah, so you don't get trapped by these little minions while you're trying to tame one of those centipedes. Now as you can see, I have base builds inside the cave next to the artifact. Which is allowed on my server, on my fantasy server. Um, if you can't find any centipedes around here, the next best place would be the clever cave, which is the central, next to the volcano. And I see a centipede right up there. Get rid of all this here. I've pretty much gone everywhere. This is the last spot I haven't searched. 
and just hoping he is a decent level one. Die spiders. We're just going to heal up here. I forgot to bring my stims back down with me when I um, put my spider up the top. But here's an Artho. You can tell because it's a long tubey thing. There's his head. We want to go behind him and just like the spider, as soon as you see the name, give him balm in one broth and it's an instant tame. Level 45. Yeah, not a level that I wanted, but that's alright because we can level him up just a little bit. But there we go, we have an Arthro Plura. Put a collar on this one too. And the issue is he's only got 116 weight, which is going to be quite hard to get him out of here. So I might end up requesting him because I've got so much equipment on me right now. That I'm just too heavy. Why are you attacking me, Scorpion? Get him, Centipede. Get him, get him. No, okay. I'll do it. Just got to be careful in here because it's a PvP zone and I don't want to kill the tame I just um, acquired, so. Uh, not too bad, Stamina. Not too bad. All right. We'll teleport him out of here and then we'll... Do a bit of leveling, I might even uh, god level them, just for the sake of the video, and then I'll see you outside the Yeti Cave. So here we are, finally ready to run through the Yeti Cave guys. I've put some levels into it, I've put just over a thousand stamina, 200 weight is sufficient, and then all the other points I did was put straight into my movement speed. And that is all you need for a spider. Stamina, weight, and speed. And again, maybe 1,000 and around the 1,000 mark of stamina, at least 200 weight, and the rest in speed. That's how you build a spider. Now, from here on, it's just a straight dash to the artifact and straight back out. I'll show you how to do it on a spider and then second time round I'll go through the Arthur as well. And make sure guys that you bring a hatchet or a pickaxe because there will be crystals, uh, crystal barrier that you will have to go through. And as you can see with a spider I can attack anything and they shouldn't hit me back. Especially not the wolves. This is the best way to level up your spider is come into a cave. And just keep biting a wolf. As you can see, there's a 540 wolf. And I'll get a hell of a lot of XP from that one kill to put onto a spider. But once you've done your leveling, guys, come up through here. We're going to run as fast as we can. And we're going to jump off the ledge right here. And a spider can swim too also. Just make sure you look up to the surface when you're inside the water. Otherwise you will end up sinking. And it is a bit uh, jumpy and laggy for me. I don't know why, but hopefully it doesn't get in the way. And there is a ramp right there, but I won't go up there. I'll act as if there's no builds inside the cave and take the route that I would take to the artifact. Oh, and you gotta make sure guys, don't wear your ghillie suit. Um, I know I have mine on because uh, I don't know why actually, but make sure you either have your flak set or better yet have decent hide armor. Get out of my way, bat. Um, yeah, you want hide or flak because you will start draining some health and I fell off the side, all right. We are going to have to take this ramp back up because I'm not going straight back around. But just be a little careful that you don't do this on your game, guys. Oh, come on. Get up out of the water. But yes, you will um, sustain some health damage over time. So make sure you bring in some cooked meat and come in a bit hungry so you can heal. Or bring in some berries. Yeah, or, or if you have medical brew and here is where your first crystal barrier usually is 
just whip out your hatchet and you should be able to see just like that knock them out and continue on through just make sure that you dump what you've harvested because it'll go into your inventory and make your spider heavy and you cannot get an artifact loot crate while on your team so if it's safe hop off oh not bad chitin if it's safe get off otherwise just ignore it guys because there's never anything good in cave loot artifacts like that now the only thing to worry about if if there's creatures in your way you can bite them but the yeti if you bite a yeti they'll uh retaliate back just like that okay now we run away but yeah try to avoid hitting a yeti that's not what we want and when you're through your second tunnel we're gonna uh oh don't tell me i'm gonna crash please game not now no nah, here we go it's back and we're just going to jump straight off this cliff ledge after the second tunnel, guys. And take the route I'm taking. You might have to, if you lose your way, you might have to put the video back so you see where I go. But go to the right from here. It's really a one direction path that you can go. And a second crystal blockage is usually there. We're already halfway towards the artifact. Just keep following the direct path that it gives you guys. Once you hit this stream, it's a good indicator that just around the other side will be the artifact cavern. And here's my build, guys. This is where I put my build. So then I can fast travel and get the artifact and die with it and tribute pretty quick. And my health is, yeah, half health, not too bad. Grab your artifact. And depending on how much HP you have, it's probably a good time to heal yourself or re-log. Um, so you have a safe path back to reduce the crashing. You don't want to crash while you're on the tame. Because you log in and you'll be dismounted and you'll either be dead or not. And can you see how much easier it is now to be able to run this cave? If you are stressing on how to do this cave, this is the strategy to do it. You can do this very, very early um, in early game. Just as long as you unlock the bug repellent Ingram and you know you're able to grow some veggies then yeah tame tame a spider don't worry th so much about taming arthro because you won't be able to find the black pearls in early game just yet unless you get very lucky to make the broth and uh also again i'm gonna let you guys know that you don't need more than a thousand stamina on a spider because the, the more speed you have the further distance you can go with the less stamina you have so there's no point putting all points into stamina and have say 2,000 3,000 stamina and then your speed is very slow because it's not going to be very efficient guys so the more speed the further you can get and the less stamina you will use and I'm flashing quite a bit but we're just going to try ignore that because we're we're halfway nearly out. I'm just glitching a bit now. Um, when it jumps around and lags for you guys, just take a minute and stop moving. Give your device some time to render and recollect what the hell's going on in the game so it doesn't crash on you. Oh, keep getting stuck in the walls. Now, when you finally return back to this side, just jump off the ledge, guys. Straight onto here. It is a nice shortcut. You don't have to follow the full path. It's the shortest distance you want to be able to 
go as fast as you can to get it and come back to tribute and be able to rinse and repeat and do cave runs all day. So now we're at the very end. Actually, no, we still got one more incline to go. Of course, I get stuck on a Yeti. It's easy to get stuck on things on here, but it's all right. That is fine. Okay, and now we're finally out, guys, and that's exactly how it's done. From here, what we're going to do is rush back and jump on our Argy, and then we're going to fly directly over the cave to the white obelisk slash blue obelisk and do our tribute and then come back. So now off we go, chuck a 180 and right there is where we can tribute guys. And that's how this cave is done guys, no more hassle, no more stress, you have non-aggressive tanks that now you know how to tame, what to do, what to craft and how to get them. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, hit that like button, comment below if you want to see more content just like this in the future. If you would like to see me run through with the Arthropleura, stay tuned because it's coming up in 3, 2, 1. Getting into the Yeti Cave entrance with a centipede is just a little bit trickier guys. And the view is very tough. But to get through you have to stick to the right side of the uh, entrance. Oh great. When you get stuck you need to slowly back yourself out. And the view is quite hard to control. This is why you don't use a centipede. You can, I used to, but I won't anymore because a spider's a lot easier. But if I can just reverse and go straight into here, you're going to want to stick to the right side of this spot and eventually you will pop out through to the other side. And as I said, the view is going to play around a little bit, but you can get it through. Come on. Unless they've patched it. Have they patched it? Oh no, there we go. We're through. Okay. And so now we begin our journey with the centipede. The way you upgrade your centipede in stats, guys, don't worry about stamina because a 300, 400 centipede will have more than enough stamina. It drains really slow. Uh, so what you want to do is upgrade on their melee damage mostly and get the weight above 200, 250 and that's all you need to do is just pump. Um, yeah, I oh know you got to pump your speed as well to be able to move faster. But most importantly is your melee. Centipede is a PvP um tame guys it will shred and wreck durability armor so it's really good but they're definitely good for in yeti cave too because oh, stuck on the same bat as i did with the with the spider but yeah if you can control your centipede it's been a while since i've been on mine Ooh. they can climb over and up things uh, quite easily if you're on a centipede and you come up to the the crystal block, you can pretty much just run over the top of it. You don't need a hatchet, but bring one just in case. Oh, get out of my way, you bat. So just the same path, guys. If you can... Um, See, it wants to climb, but it just won't go. You can see how it's just a little annoying to maneuver around in here. But, you know, sometimes when you first start the game, you end up taming an Arthro before you tame a spider. So, this way you know how to use a centipede through the cave if you haven't got a spider yet. Both these non-aggressive tames don't do any fall damage, so you can fall off any height you want and they'll just float to the ground. But, dude, you must admit, 
How cool does a centipede look? Mm. I was going to look at something inside my inventory, but I've totally forgotten. Sometimes you can crawl over this second crystal block. Um, sometimes you can't, but as I said, bring a hatchet just in case. Listen to the slithers. You can also use a centipede if you don't have turrets at your base. You can go into the Tames um, menu and set it to turret mode. So it will auto attack anything that comes close to your base. And as I said, it does durability damage. So it will rip and shred people's gear and equipment. Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm drifting. I'm fully drifting. And we're finally here at the artifact, so we go ahead and get this one. And I'm stuck, but all good. Come on, open up. Alright. From here on, we just go ahead and head all the way back, guys. Climb over a few houses along the way. <laughs> what is going on? I cannot maneuver this thing. Oh, gosh. See what I say? It's just soldiering and just going. <laughs> it just went over my own house. Like, that's just crazy. All right, guys. Thank you so much if you stuck around this long. This is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Peace out.